Hey guys, I'm Kyle Norman here at MLC CAD Systems and I'm the 3D printing application expert here in the Dallas office. Today I kind of want to talk about uh, part finish, uh, surface finish of your Metal X parts. 3D printed parts on the Metal X can be uh, a little rough. It is an FDM style process and so I would like everybody to think of uh, the surface finish right out of the machine as a as cast type surface finish. You can process these parts in a multitude of ways. We can tumble our parts with like a ceramic media. So we have a part today that just came out of the tumbler. It still leaves these layer lines as you see these layer lines here, but it just smooths everything up, knocks all of your sharp edges down, and uh, makes an altogether a, a very pretty part, um, but your layer lines are still there there is a, the, the surface is still a little bit rough. So today, let's talk about green sanding. Green sanding is when we take the part that is two thirds of the way through the process. So the part has been printed and it has been through the debind process and then we're gonna sand it. The reason we do it after the debinding is the debinding is an extremely critical step in the process and we need to make sure that we're achieving the proper weight loss. Therefore, if we were to sand the part, we could see some issues with, with getting our proper weight loss. So we want to achieve our weight loss first, and then we'll, do our, uh, then we'll work on our green sanding at that point. So today, we're going to do a light sand with a 220 grit. Then we'll step up to a 400. From there, we'll go to an 800. In between each step, we're just gonna lightly brush these with a piece of Scotch-Brite just to knock any dust off the part, and we'll go from there. So, it's important to make sure that you wet sand your parts. At this stage, we, we still have uncentered metal powder in our part. And what we do not want to ever create is an environment where our metal particles were to get air bound. So we must do a wet sand process on our parts. This is very, very important. So we want to go and get ourselves some wet dry sandpaper, which we've done here. We have all of our pieces of sandpaper and we're going to sand it either in the water or very close to the water, making sure that um, we keep the part and the paper uh, wet and saturated so that any, any uh, particles that come off of the part go into the water and are bound in the water. So let's start at the 220 side. Now we're going to start at 220. 220 is pretty rough. Uh, you you want to be really careful with 220. Um, it, it will take off a lot of material in a hurry and it's so in other words it's really easy to ruin your part. So what I like to do on the 220 is just do a light sand. I don't want to get aggressive. Uh, what I'm trying to do is just knock any heavy layer lines down or any heavy ridges, and then I'm pretty quickly going to step to a 400. So here we go. We're going to take our part. We're going to make sure it's nice and wet. And on the bottom side, I like to put a flat plate inside of, inside of my uh, water bin and this is because any flat surface, it's really easy to just set it on here and just wipe it around a couple times and you'll see, you'll see it begin to knock down those layer lines and you're getting a even contact surface when you push it down on this flat plate, just like this. So you begin to see some metal particles in, in the water and that's exactly what we, what we want to see. We don't want to see those uh, all over the table or anything like that. So we're just going to real lightly gonna hit around this part, just making sure that we're, we're washing very often both the paper and the part. So we're finished with the 220. We're just going to run over it with a piece of scotch Bright That just kind of knocks any, uh, any buildup of particles off just to make sure that uh, get better sand on the next step of the process. This is going to knock down any rough edges and smooth out the finish. This is really a visual. Um, if you need a high tolerance surface, obviously we, uh, 
you know, we're, we're going to need to run through this, run this uh, part uh, post center through a CNC machine and refine any critical geometries at that point or any critical surface finishes. Uh, this is definitely not the the way you would you would hone in on that on a part like that. But for a visual representation of a nice smooth surface, uh, that this is this is definitely an easy, very quick way to get there. We have our part all sanded. What at this stage, what we need to do is we want to do one final clean water wash. And we're doing that uh, just to uh, get any remaining particles off, off of this part. And then we need to do one more dry cycle. Uh, so we're going to put this part back in the dryer and I'll let this spend uh, a couple hours in there to make sure that any moisture that we have absorbed in this process doesn't go into the furnace. Uh, after that point, our part is ready for the furnace. We're ready to go in and fully center our part. 